So, you left your friends for self-improvement. You're seeing results in the gym, in your personal projects, in your goals, but the laughter and camaraderie of old times bring a pang of joy and nostalgia. I distanced my friends as soon as I worked a corporate job. In 14 months of the grind, I've spoken to them for maybe 10 hours. And that's not an exaggeration, that is a very close estimate. Fitness, personal goals, and corporate work, I was juggling all of these, but at what cost? Was a social connection worth it in the moment? Or was a goal in the future worth fighting for now? You can see that I chose the goal spending maybe 10 hours over 14 months with my friends. Dreams demand dues. It's up to you to decide if the benefits outweigh the costs. We all have a dream. What's the price to yours? How to achieve success. Determine what you define as success. Is it money, a new car, a house, fitness, health goals, or go with the opposite. Do you want to rot in the comfort of your bed? Find yourself in the endless abyss of video games and aimlessly scroll the internet all day? Consume trash while neglecting the temple of your body? Content to whittle your days away at a dead-end job? Can you live with the haunting regret and what-ifs knowing you didn't seize your own life? You have to emphasize what you truly want and desire. Without this in mind, you have no guidance to your everyday decisions. This is why you fail to achieve your goals, because you simply say, I want more money. Well, how much do you want? By what date? How are you going to go about reaching $100,000 in one year? When you put numbers and time to it, it becomes real, and so does the path to achieve it. Your plans may change, your daily routine may change, but your decisions, when clear, will guide you. So you have a clear vision now, but what about your old hobbies and routines that you used to do? To go down an unseen path, you must do things you've never done before. This may be sculpting your days by waking up at 5 a.m. and going to bed at 8 p.m., meal prepping 12 meals a week to go into autopilot when you work to your goals, sacrificing time spent with friends for self-discovery and knowledge. It's not pretty, but how could your old ways of living bring a new life? As you evolve, so must your surroundings. There will be judgments and heartaches between groups of friends, but you need to understand what it's worth. The longer you achieve your goals, the lesser the grip of your friendship weighs. Although moments where you spend time with loved ones is cherished, as you progress, those moments fade. But through this journey, a feeling called loneliness creeps in. Your friends and your former lifestyle played a significant role in shaping your identity. I realized my old friends often reminded me of my interests and helped me feel grounded in who I was. But distancing myself from them, I felt a sense of disconnect from my identity. My former self has faded, leaving a blank slate in place. I ventured on a journey of self-reinvention, building anew from the foundation of my being. Self-discovery states no clear endpoint, but it takes intention and effort to progress. This is why forming friendships with your devices and media is deceptive as they offer easy comfort that ultimately doles our authentic self. It demands both strength to resist societal expectations and discipline to silence the chatter of the world urging you to conform. Strip your devices to their essential functions, returning them to their original intended use. Did you know in 2007, the original iPhone was intended only for phone calling and listening to music? There was no app store and you were only able to use the internet on Wi-Fi because of the 2G bands that it had. Few could have foreseen our modern obsession with compulsively checking our devices an average of 58 times a day, surrendering anywhere from 50 minutes to two hours to social media. But what if we went back to using this powerful tool as it was initially intended? Imagine the tranquility, the freedom from constant pings and desire for your attention. It will be hard, old habits will claw for your attention, seeking the comfort of endless scrolling. Yet each act of resistance is a weight lifted to strengthen your spirit, sculpting a stronger, more intentional self. Create a blueprint to your life. The path I chose is simple. 
I have a mission to be successful on YouTube, to create and not be consumed, rejecting sloth, resisting junk food, and the virtual escape of video games. Well, I'm talking like too many video games because every once in a while, you know, it's fun, but when you're alone playing all day, every day, that's where it gets deceptive. As Bruce Lee states, you must be like water. My plans are fluid and ever-changing, adaptable yet unwavering in its core aim, pivoting only to amplify my trajectory towards success. So, while motivation is a powerful starter, like a spark to light a fire, but we need to fan those flames to keep that fire burning. I actually got that kind of concept metaphor from Heinz. Shout out, I'm not trying to steal, just trying to take a piece of that knowledge and share it. And so when I left my corporate job, I was full of enthusiasm and my thinking was clear on how to achieve my goal. But as time goes, those feelings fade. My motivation was replaced with new problems and a mindset that was seeking comfort. But I combated this. Luckily, there's many tools to combat these feelings and thoughts. So here are a few that I employ. For me, health is a must. Days I'm sick, I'm extra depressed because I cannot push my physical body to its limit and completely shift my mind from my problems so that my subconscious can solve them for me. Health involves eight to nine hours of sleep, 30 minutes of exercise daily, 80% diet of whole foods, and at least 15 minutes of mindfulness per day that just looks like meditating for me. I can make videos going deeper into each of these topics, so comment if you'd like to see any of those type of videos. The growth mindset is characterized by belief of one's abilities and intelligence can be developed and improved over time. Embrace challenge, persevere in the face of obstacles. Let me ask you this, what's easier? Believing that raw talent will always beat hard work and give up, or to persist and view effort as a path to mastery. So like Rock Lee, not Bruce Lee, you must persevere and master the sustained effort. If you're interested in that concept, you should check out my video two videos ago. I talk about that in depth. It's a great story. Rock Lee's awesome character, highly recommend. So you will face setbacks. In self-improvement, you're guaranteed to face setbacks. You'll get knocked on your butt, you'll feel lonely, and you will see what seems like no results. You'll face persecution, but like Christ himself, you must have faith. Remember why you started this in the first place. If that reason is not strong enough, you must go back to forge a new unbreakable why. Facing issues alone is difficult. If you're truly struggling, I do encourage you to reach out, yet no it's through these solo trials we often find our greatest strength. In psychology, there's a branch of study called the humanistic psychology. It believes in the human growth potential. If we're nourished with love and acceptance, we can achieve whatever we put our minds to. Our environment nurtures or limits us. It's not just about external support. It's about cultivating our inner sanctuary of self-love that empowers us to grow beyond our old selves. So take these moments alone and reflect. Just think, journal, problem solve. It takes time, but it also takes intention. So self-improvement can be lonely. I've, um, I've sacrificed a lot. I have good friends I used to talk to every single day, you know, since middle school, since high school, college. Since I started corporate, I truly had stopped talking with them. And in a sense, it stayed that way. And I have goals that I want to achieve. And it's not that they stop me. It's that it's harder to achieve these goals while maintaining this. And I do believe that there is a balance out there because I miss my friends. But I personally have not figured that out for myself. And I'm not trying to encourage you to drop them, but I'm trying to say that if you're in a similar situation, you know, you're not alone, that they're, it's hard to balance these things. And maybe some of your friends aren't meant to be along this journey. You know, maybe 
they're bad for you or maybe they hold you back or maybe they bring you backwards or into old habits but for me I have a lot of great friends and I just personally have not found that sort of balance between achieving what I want and what I feel I'm meant to do and then spending that relaxation with them but so I'm not sure how to do that if you have an idea maybe comment down below and we can start a discussion but I'm not saying that the right path I'm not saying that any of this is the right path I'm saying that you need to decide for yourself and you need to take intention and and embrace silence embrace boredom shout out to my last video embrace the discomfort because we need to be intentional about where we're going and how we get there and and why loneliness happens a lot in self-improvement is because we silence the chatter of the exterior world out and that may be through isolation it may be cutting out your phone usage and putting it back to how it was intended for phone calling and maybe listening to music you know recently i bought a um, just a flip phone i'm gonna replace my iphone with this and just see how things go and you know i'm sick of being attached to my screens and missing the present moment and anyways i just wanted to let you guys know that you're not alone out there this is not a solo problem you're dealing with you have to push through these moments and you need to play the long game i talk about a lot of these concepts in my other videos but but it takes intention and it will be lonely and hard but you need to think of the long-term game because anytime you take a short-term pain you get long-term rewards from it it's like working out it sucks in the moment but your body grows stronger it's like eating healthy you know maybe a burger would taste better in the moment but your body gets stronger and plus when you eat that burger in the moment that's the moment where it's short-term pleasure for long-term pain because maybe it becomes a bad habit or you just feel worse later in the day it's truly a give and take and you got to choose what you're going to take in the moment to give your future self a better time so that's all i have for this video um i, I apologize if my schedule of uploading is a little here and there inconsistent because i'm just working out a lot of new methods of doing things so hopefully i will see you next week and just know that my goal is weekly, but because I'm trying new things out, I'm figuring it out. And once I figure it out, I'm able to systemize it and produce weekly. So for now, hopefully I will see you next week. If not, I will still be here and I'll see you guys later. Peace.